Hi everybody and welcome to the Python for Everyday Life course by Packet Publishing. My name is Claudio Sparpaglione, pleased to meet you. I'm an 8 plus years Pythonista with experience and exposure in designing coding web scale systems and APIs. I've been working as a developer and software architect in a lot of industries in the past, for example in the GIS industry, advertising, telecommunications, and among them I worked in two startups in one of them as a chief technology officer. I love Linux and I love open source software, which I am an advocate of, and I also do maintain uh, a few open source projects. You can please follow me on Twitter and please take a visit to my personal website and web blog. So this course is a hands-on exploration on how to design and implement Python applications that you can use to automate some typical day-to-day -day, uh, tasks uh, that happen in everybody's life. So the focal point here is learn how to structure and solve typical coding problems uh, in order to automate things. So we will have 16 sections in our course. Uh, the first three will be about setting up the proper tooling and understanding how to structure your development process. Also with a quick recap about uh, the main Python development topics. Then sections from four to six will be about manipulating local file system objects, for example, files and folders, uh, so that you can be productive with them. You will learn how to read and write common file formats and how to process and filter images. Then sections from seven to nine will introduce you to the internet and how to interact with it. So you will learn how to scrape websites, how to get data from APIs, and then how to really automate common internet tasks uh, such as sending emails or tweeting and so on. Then a section from 10 to 14 will teach you how a typical web application is structured and how Python interacts with the databases. And then on the top of that you will learn how to build yourself some web-oriented services, for example a static website or uh, an API or a chatbot that can be installed on the Facebook platform. And then the last two sections, 15 and 16, will teach you a bit of data science. So you will get the strategies and the tooling um, that are required in order to manipulate also big data sets and extract knowledge from them. So what do you need in order to take this course? So in terms of knowledge, you just don't need to be a programming ninja, neither you need to be a Python guru. You just need a basic programming exposure and some, you know, uh, knowledge of the basics of the Python programming language, which is very easy. And in terms of, uh, of hardware and software, you will just need a modern laptop, for example, setup. And in terms of software, we will be working uh, on the Python 3 platform. So you will need at least a 3.5 interpreter installed and you will need a working internet connection and a modern web browser. So what are the course goals? By the end of this course, you will have learned how to write uh, Python code in a proficient way. You will have learned how to tackle typical coding problems by adopting either existing solutions or pattern or by crafting your own tailored solutions in a smart way. You will have learned how to manipulate data sets and visualize them as a means to take informed decisions for the better of your life and also how to implement a wide range of applications from simple scripts up to APIs or web applications that you can use in order to handle your common everyday uh, life tasks. And if you're ever wondering why should I take this course and if you're still doing this, then this is the answer. Life is very beautiful uh, but also very short. So boys, there is no point in wasting time in doing things that a machine can do for yourself. So very easily you just need to take this course automate as much as you can and then enjoy so uh, let's jump right into action with the course